Hi, my name is Bill Maurice. I'm the Chair of Hematopathology here at Mayo Clinic. And I'd just like to talk to you today about some important changes and updating to how we make the laboratory diagnosis of plasma cell proliferative disorders and multiple myeloma um, and what they mean for you as people that might use our services through Mayo Medical Laboratories. So uh, we've had a long-standing clinical interest in the diagnosis of multiple myeloma and its treatment and other plasma cell proliferative disorders such as monoclonal gammopathy of uncertain significance. And a big part of that testing has always been our plasma cell labeling index analysis, which is a method which was really created in the 70s and early 80s where we took the plasma cells, put them onto a slide to both look for clonality and also to measure how fast they were growing or their proliferative rate. Um, and this turns out to be very important in terms of prognosis and also determining response to treatment. Um, and so this has really been a mainstay of our clinical practice and laboratory practice of hematopathology for a number of years. However, with the advent of more advanced flow cytometric methods for examining plasma cells, we realized that we might be able to do something different and um, actually more powerful in terms of measuring plasma cells, detecting them, determining if they were normal or abnormal, and also measuring their proliferation. Because another thing that's important in making a diagnosis of multiple myeloma or understanding the prognosis is not only how fast they're growing, but how much DNA that these cells actually have in them. Because what we know is that in some myelomas and other plasma cell diseases, the actual plasma cells have an abnormal amount of DNA even when they're at rest. And this is also very important for the prognosis of these patients and also for establishing the diagnosis. So what I'm excited to tell you about is that we've actually been working for over two years with our clinical colleagues to develop a single flow centimetric based test that actually measures plasma cell clinality, plasma cell DNA content, and plasma, plasma cell proliferation all out of a bone marrow aspirate tube. Um, without any other kind of special additives, it can be any kind of routine bone marrow aspirate can be sent to us for these sorts of studies. Um, in the past, when we've done the, the proliferative assessment, for those of you that might have used that test, we had to send you a special kit with a special tube that you had to put some bone marrow aspirate into so we can measure proliferation. Those days are gone, and we can now accept any bone marrow aspirate for these studies. One of the things changes you'll see with this, though, is obviously we're measuring a lot more information out of that tube than we used to with the slide-based method. So the report itself is going to change as well. So whereas in the past you might have seen just whether or not we detect the monoclonal plasma cells by flow, and then a separate genetics report that might mention um, gene translocations and a separate proliferative report that might discuss plasma cell proliferation, maybe rolled into an M-SMART report, what you'll see now is just off of the flow cytometry itself, we'll be able to say, are there clonal plasma cells? How many clonal plasma cells there are? What is their DNA content? How this correlates to ploidy status, which is the cytogenetic way of assessing DNA content, and also what the proliferative rate is of those cells. So that's a very content-rich report in and of itself. The other thing that's really exciting about this method, however, is that not only can we analyze the abnormal plasma cells, but in the same tube we can analyze the normal plasma cells. And the question you might have is why is that important? Well, it's important because one thing that we're learning as we get better at understanding and diagnosing these, these diseases excuse me, is that the presence or absence of normal plasma cells, and particularly how many there are in compared to the abnormal, is also very important for patients. In patients that are, have maybe a premyelominous condition such as Mugus, it seems that this value probably is of importance in knowing how high, risk, how high the risk is for progressing to multiple myeloma or another clinical disease that requires treatment. And in treated myelomas, it appears that this value or this ratio of abnormal to normal plasma cells might be very important for predicting which patients are responding to therapy or may relapse soon after therapy is discontinued. So you'll see all this content in your reports if you send the, your studies here. Um, and the other thing that's exciting for anyone that uses Mayo Medical Laboratories is now that we put this new test in place, I'm actually working very closely with, we all of us in hematopathology actually, are working very closely with Dr. Raj Kumar and our colleagues in clinical hematology that we can actually learn more about the information that we're providing you so we can provide even better prognostic assessment right off that single tube for your patients so you can understand how to guide their therapy as a pathologist or as a clinician. So I'm sure there'll be uh, questions that will arise as you see the new reports coming through, um, but just know that it's really a great advance in our methodology, not the least of which is it actually is more sensitive. So even in the past when we were running six color flow to detect abnormal plasma cells, we maybe were down to one in 10,000 that we could detect. Now with this new methodology, we're probably able to detect even one in 500,000 or one in 100,000 
um, abnormal plasma cells, analyzing 500,000 cells total. And so what we're knowing and our understanding now is that if, at this level of sensitivity, if we don't pick up any abnormal plasma cells, there probably is no need to do the other sorts of studies that are often ordered in these diseases such as plasma cell fish. So right now we're trying to work on an algorithmic approach where we can actually use these studies to know when we need to spend more on patients or when we can cancel unnecessary tests. We're working to develop that algorithm internally, but again, this is something we hope to have available to you through Mayo Medical Laboratory sometime in the near future. So I just wanted to have everyone updated out there in the internet world about what we're doing here, the advances that we're making, and hopefully you'll have an opportunity to look at the website, uh, see what the testing is, maybe visit the catalog. If you have any other questions, please either leave them on the website and we'll get back to you, or you can try and contact us through the 1-800-MML number if you're a client already. So thank you very much for your time, and uh, hopefully you'll, we'll be seeing uh, specimens from you that we can help you in the care of your myeloma patients.